um, if you need access to contracts just uh, let me see I think there's a way if you don't have a contract yeah you could text contract to me at 732-517-7532 we'll get you one for free how's that okay so that's that right there and then deals you can work with us that's number one I would prefer that we make money together um, for obvious reasons I would prefer that I make money together with you right well you can also do your deals by yourself you can find buyers cash buyers on the same damn software I showed you one cash buyer earlier rental vest in Milwaukee very very simple but let me show you uh, let's round this up really quickly by showing you what's even possible right if I go back to the search here and we go here there are two ways to find cash buyers there's this one here which is cash buyers there's 22,000 cash buyers on record in that area but not all of them purchase in recent in recent times so you could scroll down here you can see the cash buyers already pre-populated and you can go under ownership info and you can roll this out uh, the date last sales date you can roll that out by only one year so you could say 21 uh, last year only and then narrows down to 2500 cash transactions not buyers cash transactions right but again if you want if this is the market where you play you can select all of those people add them to a marketing list and skip trace all of the data right so another thing I like to do is uh, most of the cash buyers that are sophisticated to buy these deals from you they're not gonna be individuals individual cash buyers are just people looking to buy to live in it right uh, potentially for the most part generally speaking uh, there are exceptions to every rule if I go under ownership info I can go here and I say uh, I need only corporate okay uh, that's it and it narrows down it narrows it down even further to 1800 okay so those are property if I, if I click into this one property I go under cash sale you can see that I don't want this buyer <laughs> okay that's a mortgage well, National Mortgage Association Company that's government essentially so anything with buyer relationship type government I, I don't want that okay uh, so again that's something you probably want to look out for right uh, let's look at this one right here under cash sale uh, this is probably what more of what you're looking for SFR3 okay they paid $67,000 for the property uh, okay so I would find the information of all those people you can search on Google and there are also other websites that you can search for corporate where you can pull the information of the owners of these properties right if I search on Google directly this right here I can see that they actually do have a website boom but another good website that you probably parade a lot is opencorporates.com right here where to actually show you um, of the officers on the on the comp that owns the company right uh, good standing yeah, let's see there are similar name companies so they probably created LLC's in different states same people they have head office in New York right the directors are Jonathan Kibera right right there that's the person you're looking for all right a little bit of research goes into it but you're about to make twenty thirty thousand dollars use simple Google to find this information right all right so the other one I want to show you in terms of finding cash buyers is here is saying that's 47 flipper agents what is flipper agents meaning agents that represent cash buyers people that flip that actually flip the property meaning there are two transactions within a short period of time this I would go after first okay so let's look at this first one and uh, cash sale let's see so on the cash sale you can see uh, now I just go on the MLS detail right that's the uh, MLS detail uh, let's see here okay we have it right here we see the brokerage information we're looking for M Burns right M Burns has uh, Dion Dion that looks like a lady's name right Dion has phone numbers directly right here send a text message to Dion right? I say hey I got a property under contract 
I'm not sure I'll be able to execute, but it's a really good deal. I think I see that you represented uh, the person that purchased North 38th Street, Milwaukee. Uh, they purchased the property on blah, blah, blah date. The date is here somewhere, right here in April 2021. Uh, would you be able to show this property to your client? I'm paying full commission. <sighs> Sounds like music, right? <laughs> That's it. All right, so that you'll find under flipper agents, which you may not have saved here already, but you can easily go into filter and go under flippers. Boom. You have access to data. This business becomes super simple, super easier for you. All right. It becomes super easier, super simple for you. Okay. So now, um, with that being said, I just wanted to, um, a couple of things uh, really quickly um, let me just go take a look um, the, we, in terms of the I think I should push that to the next session you know I'll push it to the next session because I feel like I covered a lot here today um, in terms I was gonna cover uh, some of the responses uh, there was a there was a debate between uh, Zach of uh, flick with Rick uh, who is a content producer in this arena of uh, wholesale real estate and another gentleman I forgot his name uh flip 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 mastery something like that uh, flip, flipping masteries uh it's, it's a, they did a debate about if they should form an association for wholesalers and, or whatnot you know i'm quite indifferent on their take um i felt like the debate was quite uh interesting um but i i wanted to do maybe some kind of reaction or something to it and also react to some of the comments and why what most people are probably worried about is probably not an issue especially if you haven't closed your first deal or your next deal in a long time these are things you shouldn't worry about okay uh but I, i'll still do it you know um the market was in the red today i think it was because of the it's probably still because of the interest rates that's what it looks like so i'm not going to cover too much details with regards to that what i'll do is maybe on the next session uh we're going to let's see let me share yeah yeah let's see two, 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 two. yeah so maybe on the next session uh, what we're going to do is probably come back and uh, yeah yeah on the next session what we're going to do is we'll come back and uh, and cover some of those details right with regards to if this is ever going to be illegal I already said in the beginning it will never be illegal that's the answer but in terms of what you should expect in terms of the regulation and stuff like that I think uh, you should be prepared you know I think there's some important information I want to share with you from the standpoint of someone that has been in the game 